To write the name for PbO2, first thing we need to realize is we have a metal here, that's the Pb, lead, and then we have a nonmetal, oxygen. So when we have a metal and nonmetals, this is an ionic compound, and specifically this is a transition metal. So we can use these rules here to write the name for PbO2 as an ionic compound with a transition metal. So first we write the name of the metal, just as it appears on the periodic table. Pb, that's lead, and then we'll write the name of the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. O2, that's oxygen, lowercase o, and we're going to replace the ending with IDE. So we write IDE, and at this point we have the name lead oxide for PbO2. But remember we said lead, that's a transition metal. So we need to figure out the charge on the Pb based on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to two oxygen atoms. Oxygen always has a 2 minus ionic charge. So each oxygen here has an ionic charge of 2 minus. 2 times 2 minus, that's 4 minus. Lead has to be 4 plus. And the way we show that, we write the Roman numeral 4 between the lead and the oxide. So IV, and then we put parentheses around it, and the name for PbO2 is lead 4 oxide. If you were given this name here and asked to find the formula for lead 4 oxide, you'd know that lead has this plus 4 ionic charge because of the Roman numeral. Then you know that with the oxygen, you'd need two of those, 2 times 2 minus. That would balance the plus 4 out and give us a net charge of 0. So the formula would be PbO2. This is Dr. B with the name for PbO2, lead 4 oxide. Thanks for watching.